and Gary O'Neill gets back to do what Gary O'Neill does so well. Yeah, the decision making in the final third is just stopping them getting shots away. Sligo, even the pass from Fitzgerald out to, to Levac, he should punch it at him onto his back foot and then he can take a big touch. John Kenny chasing after this one. Kenny's away. A chance for Johnny Kenny. Finds the net. And Shamrock Rovers out of nothing have the lead in the 19th minute. The pace of Johnny Kenny doing the trick against his former club. Shamrock Rovers won. Sligo Rovers nil. And like we said, once there's grass in behind for Kenny, you run into it all day. He does brilliantly well to get to it. But the composure to finish, he just opens up his body with his right foot and curls a sublime finish in. You see his pace here, he just gets him away from Pinnaker. Touch comes around him, and this is a wonderful finish. Really composed, but clinical as well. Fantastic goal from Kenny. His fourth league goal of the season. What a finish this was. Top corner. That's a good effort. Oh, just wide of the post from Mata. Really good pressure there from Max Mata. And it almost paid off. Yeah, again, the nick a high. The press is on. They've worked it really well. You see the pressure on Pum. He's probably looking for more information, but they're just not playing quick enough. Lopez with the situation under control there. And a first time clearance from Manas. The ball was coming at him slightly awkwardly. It's worked out well for Shamrock Rovers though, and that's a good pass from Jack Byrne to find Trevor Clark. Real chance here, Trevor Clark makes it 2-0. He scored for the second week in a row as well, just like in Shakur last weekend, after Johnny Kenny scored the opener for Shamrock Rovers. Trevor Clark has added a second. A security goal, if you like, for Shamrock Rovers, 64 minutes in. They have a two-goal advantage now. And that's been the difference, Con. It's a clinical pass from Bourne, and it's an emphatic finish from Clark. He's obviously confident from the goal he scores last week, and he just runs onto it from the halfway line and slots it into the far corner. Bulger does brilliantly well to group on the seconds here, but it's opened up the whole midfield. Bourne just drops back in. True ball. And you see Brandon Farr just can't get back in. And that's what he said about the mobility of Clancy. He can't get across, neither. And it ends up being Poynacker nearly that makes the block for a really cool finish from Clark and a wonderful ball from Jack Byrne. The weight on the pass here from Jack Byrne. It's just perfect for Clark to run yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. And his first touch there sets him up lovely. And then when he looks up and he probably sees that they're not, just not getting across to him, he decides, I'll just slot it in myself. Levac has Branafalk making the run ahead of him. Bulger with the shot. And it's been deflected into the net. Slugger Rovers are back in this game. Bulger's shot. I think it might have been Mata. I don't know who's going to get the credit for that goal, whether it will be Bulger or Mata. But I think Slugger Rovers won't care one way or the other. They're back in this match. 68 minutes. Shamrock Rovers 2, Slugger and Rovers 1. And it's a Levac assist of all people as well. He just rolls it back. It's Bulger's pass originally out. And Branagh just runs on the inside and he just drags Grace out of the gap. He rolls it across here. I'm not sure if he's... It's obviously a set for a shot. And he's here. I think it's Lopez that comes off. Lopez is left foot and ends up in the bottom corner. The deflection does Manus. Well, this makes a real game that now going into the last quarter of this match at Tallis Stadium. Levac with the uh, ball across, Bulger with the shot and good delivery and the header from Mata is just over the top that was really close It's a, again, it's a brilliant ball it's right down the middle of the goal he's, beat, he's probably complaining he's getting dragged a little bit but he holds his ground, he fights for his position he gets up as well I think he'd be disappointed he hasn't hit the target there because he actually gets up, but he might have headed on the way back down, which caused the ball to go up. And it's a fantastic chance. Just well, the referee has unbelievably given the throw in to Sligo Rovers there. Clearly out off the uh, Sligo player. Fitzgerald takes it forward. And Fitzgerald has gone down. A free kick to Sligo Rovers. A yellow card for League Race as well. I'm not sure if he's booking him for the first one or the second one. Because I thought the first one was a yellow card. He tries to stop the attack. Yeah. He probably should stop it. Because Wilkes Sherrill does brilliantly well. And now the goalkeeper's up, McNicholas. And it's 
Yeah, we saw him in a recent match have a volley right at the yeah. end. Yeah. Nicholas. He nearly Remember scored that. just over the cross car. And he's up again. So it's all about the delivery here. Again, Rovers goes on from this area of the pitch. Fitzgerald it is. He's going to swing this one in. Left footed. Ten Sligo Rovers players in the box. Including the goalkeeper. And the header goes harmlessly wide. And that might be the last chance for Sligo to get something out of this game. Yeah, it wasn't a great delivery. It's just too low and too flat. If, even if he gets a header from there, he'll do well to score from the penalty spot. Needed to be a little bit higher and allow the players to come back, come on and attack it. I think it's over once he kicks this out. You're dead right, Graham. There is the full-time whistle, and Shamrock Rovers have collected three points at Tala Stadium tonight with a 2-1 victory against Sligo Rovers. Real battle between those uh, two teams out there. Shamrock Rovers move on to 21 points. Now just five. Shamrock Rovers, 2-1 uh, winners in the end at uh, Tala Stadium, but that was a hard fight.